Welcome to Magic Moments. Um, excited to be doing this for you guys today, live from a very special city, uh, Paris, France. And um, I'm in front of a, a Magic Moment monument, which is the Notre Dame Cathedral. Um, you know, the whole point of this is to kind of give you guys some insight into who I am, my life, and what lessons have really I've learned that have helped me to get to where I am today. So I'm um, traveling solo on this trip, and uh, I, uh, so that, you know, we're just kind of going rogue here. We got an iPhone, we got the, the Bose headphones, um, not as polished as our New York stu studio stuff, but I think that this is what's fun, right? Sharing different things with you um, in the moment. So here at Notre Dame Cathedral, and the reason that I'm coming to you live from from Paris and from this place in particular is because I went to a high school called Notre Dame High School um, where I was an athlete. I was a college football player and that was something that was an amazing, um, well, I was a high school football player and then a college football player and that was a goal of mine and the big goal that I had was to play, my high school was actually called Notre Dame, Notre Dame, and my big goal was to play football at Notre Dame College. Uh, the University of Notre Dame grew up going to the games with my dad. Um, love the fight song, love the team, love the play like a champion, love everything about it. And so that was my goal. It didn't end up happening, and I was pretty much devastated when I got that rejection letter from Notre Dame. And, uh, you know, I look back on it, I went to Butler University, which was also in Indiana, um, a Division One AA school. It was the best offer I got. I wanted to be a Division One college athlete, and it happened. Um, but I think that, you know, while I was at Butler, um, you know, things changed and things always change. And during my time there as, a, as an athlete, I suffered a, a number of different uh, concussions and that ended up my college football career. And again, I was devastated. And again, I didn't know what to do. Similar feeling to what I felt when Notre Dame rejected me. Um, and what happened next was pretty remarkable. It was when I started to travel I did a semester abroad in Florence, Italy, and I came to this place for the very first time. And I remember thinking to myself, this is gonna be a life-changing trip, and it, and it was. And it opened my eyes to the world, and it opened my, my world up. And because of that, I, I became very passionate about the world as a whole, and serving the world, and using my talents to be able to be of service to the world, and figure out ways that I could be a bridge for different cultures and different communities. And um, and, and it all kind of started during this semester abroad and one of those weekend trips I took was here. In fact, I came here all by myself and that was, at, at 21, the biggest risk I'd ever taken. I came to Paris, I came to Ireland, and I came to uh, London and I did a solo travel. And I guess my message today is as I return here, I've, I've returned to Paris, I've been lucky to return to Paris a few times, but I guess this time is really special because I was asked to give a speech and I was asked to be master of ceremonies for a big conference here in Paris. Um, kind of an all expense trip paid uh, experience. And you know, if you, would, if, if you would have told me at 21 and then again at 27 that I would be here again in front of this cathedral, Notre Dame, that represents so much for me, I would have said, you know, I, didn't, I wouldn't have known it was possible. So there are things that are going to go on according to plan. And there are going to be things that feel like the end of the world for you. And there are going to be things that happen along the way that you didn't, that you didn't think were possible. And I guess today what I'm trying to say to you is as I sit in front of this place that represents my high school, my college aspirations, and then a big shift and a big transition that has led me to where I am today as a global speaker, um, just enjoy the process and just take it for what it is, which is a blessing in disguise. I mean, one of the things that I think uh, has been a huge part of my success is my insane internal optimism. <laughs> and uh, some people have a hard time understanding that, um, but I am just like so incredibly optimistic. Um, and I just think that, that things have a way of working themselves out in the best way possible. And, uh, you know, this is a perfect example. So magic moments in front of this magic monument, uh, this Notre Dame Cathedral. Uh, embrace what is not going according to your plan. 
do what you can to make your plan come true, but there's so much that's out of our control. And what's happening today is actually gonna shape you in five years and 10 years and 15 years and 20 years. I don't even know what happens next. Um, but today I surrender to that while at the same time putting every single ounce of my soul and energy and spirit and drive into making my dream come true of influencing millions and millions of people over the world, building those communities, building those cultures, cultural bridges, sharing everything I know with everyone that I can. And um, so beautiful day here just represents all that is good in the world. So hope you enjoyed this magic moment here in Paris, France.